What is the meaning of user count here? User count. User maximum, what is the meaning of that? What do you want to have here, user count, user maximum? Because we got limit, uh, one day can handle how many customers? But is it going to link with the ID? One ID, one count, one ID, one count? I think, yes, link to ID. Let's say my ID is A. What is my count? Huh? One. One. Uh, ID B, what is my count? Huh? Two. How come you become two? Oh. Why not one? I'm alone only. Mm. Two people, one one. So, shouldn't it be global, as your metric definition, mm. yeah. rather than like this? Mm. Oh, you are doing user right? Oh. <laughs> because I'm, all of you looking at you, so you are doing user right? Yeah, user. Okay, so maybe this one not here should be in your axiomatic axiomatic mm. okay. yeah, okay. I mean. so the axiomatic I the user count how to how to write axiomatic the axiomatic axiomatic mm. definition oh, yeah. la, uh, uh, mm. the, the normal one la. Mm. so this one management report eh report out uh, what is order status? That one under. Um, this one is put whatever. This one is under what? This one is under what? This one is under menu, and then this one is under. Uh, report. Uh, we have report and also menu. But here report only. Yeah, and then do for menu. Ah. Hmm. <coughs> This one is customer rating. If you want to do one star, two star, terbalik eh. Two, no space eh, in between eh. Star okay. one, star two, all those things lah. Okay. okay. Order. No space. Why, why all this, all order, order, all this thing? All this is, because all this is set, right? Uh-huh. Uh, so, so I want to have all orders as like a universal set for orders. And okay. in this universal set, there will be refund orders, there will be completed orders, and there will be cancelled okay, orders. Okay, but you can do as a variable, right? Like like just now, user just now. We have what are staff? Uh, just now, user. We have staff runner. Ah, uh, something like that. Go back to the staff. Ah, <laughs> uh, like this. 
Did you have like that? I, this is to ID. Yours is what? ID also right? Or what? I think it can be, it can point to all the ID. Uh, so you can have like that also? So rather than you have like this. Like this. But it's like a, but it should be a collection of orders, right? Uh, yeah, it's power set. Go up, go down. Okay. Go down to your variable. Hey, what's your state space? Order? Order. Order under another module. Ah? Hmm. <laughs> because when you order do like this, I thought it's under that. Lah. No, customers always use the order from the order module. Uh, then you must have this one, right? So you put inside what customer service? Ah? Yes. Uh, yes, it powers the order ID. Uh, then this variable, okay. Lah. Then other variable. Lah. Same, lah, same. Lah. All order refine order, you can do something like that. Power set for this. Yes, yes. Um, so this does it have any problem? Uh, order ID. Refine order only. Uh. Refine order only. How about your other order? All order? All order. Mm. Only refine order in the customer office? Uh, for the customer service, it only, yeah, it will only, has only to concern with refine order. Then where to get all orders? All just orders. now, the all orders just now. Where from which which to generate report of all orders? Mm, orders. Oh, my oh module. Yeah, I think we... My module. Actually, to generate the order. report. That's what uh, for uh, for your let's say data extraction. You don't go according to module. You group all the data extraction together so that from there you can see clearly. Now it's like from report from here. <laughs> You confused. So when you go all inside one easier, you just take anywhere. Uh, so from here I was like confused because when you put here, I assume that your state space follow this one. Lah. Understand or not? Because when you put here means your state space must follow the like what you said lah. So when I see here, eh, not here. Just report here. But not order status, report status, menu, all this, but put not here. So that's what a little bit confusing here. Lah. Uh, so like this one just now. You talk about order rating, uh, refund order. You talk about this, right? Yeah. So, but it's not here. So, it, that's why I'm asking, where do you want to use this? Uh, if we have to change one order to a refunded order, we will mm -hmm. have to receive a order input from complete order or from all orders. If it is not completed or cancelled, mm -hmm. it's maybe it's still ongoing. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we will add it as that. As into the refund order set. Okay, so those are actually inside the order lah. Inside your order yes, yes, yes. order state space lah, inside here. So it means but here order ID only. How to know that these are the just now all order completed order uh what cancel order. How how to know from here? Uh order status? No order status too. No, you won't get another one. No, actually, kind of, I'm not sure. Like, for this, right, you can see the menu, right, from here. But there's through the menu, but the menu is in the. You can call the menu, no problem. Call no menu. problem. Just that, okay, when you do your state space, what are the information that you want to add in your state space, in your database, in your table, in your database? When you want, okay. Order related to order. When you make order, what are the information that you want to save? Of course, the order ID, the type, order type, mm -hmm. uh, food or drink, whatever, let's say. And then maybe the quantity, and then maybe price, total price, for example. So this is inside your order table. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I choose order ID, so I know lah. This is the items that I will have inside my table for this order ID. Okay, then next order ID will have this item. So this is my table. So this information, let's say you want to have price, you want to have type, whatever, food, whatever. Uh, these are the list that you have to put here. Okay, so from there, like just now you want to say completed order or all order. Uh, so this is where maybe you create, after you make all this order, 
So you say status, right? So maybe from here you create order status. One more, one more uh, column in your table, status, pending, paid, whatever. It doesn't matter like, what is your status, cooking, whatever. So this is so from here, you have from this order ID, you know what is the status of that food. Okay? So create one more variable called maybe order status. Just to make sure that you can retrieve the information of order. Okay. Just now you said all order, complete order. Okay. So this is where you look at the status lah. Completed or oh, what lah. Uh, refund or whatever lah. Means that the status of this order must be uh, completed before you can refund for example. So from here is you have to check from this order ID. What is the status of this order ID? Then from here is completed. Then you can refund. If not completed, you cannot refund the money, for example. So these are the things that you have to refer. How, how you create the variable here, imagine your table. What are the data that you want to store inside your table? Right? Okay. So now, because here, that's why I asked just now about all order, complete order, all the thing. Huh? And then what are actually, how to retrieve that information? So you said status means you have to put status here. Okay, so you have so that's why you have to link like just now a what uh, to to provide all order just now is from what customer service that uh, means customer service mm -hmm. you so it means that you have to talk to her what are the information that you can retrieve from her okay let's say just now you want to say uh, refund order right so where to get to say that this is refund order so this is actually maybe from her table under status or if you don't want to have status you can have like just now, like user, runner, just now. Maybe you have all order, refund order under this one. So if let's say refund, then the refund there, you union union with the, the new or the ID or whatever lah. Something like that. So you can have that. So it's up to how you want to communicate with your table there. Okay? So variable there is important. So if you have five column of table in your database, so it means you must have five variable here. So that's why imagine uh, when when I teach you imagine like table. So from this table, this is how you extract that information to link in your uh, six piece. So if like the order, I want to also have what is the food name, and so I'm also making. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So uh, all easier for you just create one table for your exercise. Uh, create one table like that your ta table uh, your, your database lah. Uh. Hmm. So you you just put a sample of data. So you put the title here. Then you see, ah, okay. Of course, primary key will be the first column, lah. Primary key. You put all the primary key here. Then other that is your information. From here, this is your variable. This is your variable here. Whatever that you have on top here, the title lah, is your variable. Okay. Then you have primary key with this variable. That's the same product. Primary key with this one. Primary key with this one. Uh, that is how you link your connection here. Uh, so. This is a starting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to ask whether the management module, right? Mm -hmm. I have actually I thought of dividing mm -hmm. it into three parts because mm -hmm. the function is very different. First, I have that I did it with the menu, and then this one is also related to menu, the second one. But the third one is related to orders and then what do you mean by viewing and managing incoming orders huh? uh, yeah. whether to accept or deny the orders if like the kitchen is already very busy then or the can you deny the order because we have maximum customer per day so then when it exceeds the number, then cannot straight away cannot make order already lah. Mm -hmm. You create the, the maximum order already, so you don't have to accept whatever. You just create maximum already. Mm -hmm. If this want to add order already exceed, then cannot error already so cannot make how order. Like uh, if like when people order online then the like restaurant they can choose whether to accept or uh cancel uh, or reject their order based on okay. their. So this one is more on the accepting or rejecting order mm -hmm. So this one under order And then lastly, I have generate report 
not under management mak pak not mostly under, under management but mostly mostly okay hmm. this one related to order right hmm. it should be under order should be under just that the person who are going to reject or approve the Will be the staff. Ah, uh, will, will be, be the staff. Ah, uh, that's management. all. Ah, uh, not 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 management module. Ah, mm. uh. then but the update monitor menu and uh, that one is menu module lah. Ah, uh, can management. Ah, uh, always uh, then like is this variable lah. Like, mm-hmm. Okay, it can also be under order module because I thought that it cannot be duplicated. Ah, uh, okay. This one, this one not declared yet any in anywhere, right? Yeah. So I use. Oh. <laughs> I thought. I thought. I used to be confused that if like whether we declare uh, in this module or no, we declare. That's, that's why this one I told you just now not needed this part. Straight away put your state space. Confusing. This one you can uh, put somewhere else okay. for your reference. So if like mm. the management will use because they need. Can then but link to you lah. Uh, oh. Management can link to your module to re- uh. extract the because your table got food and so on. Uh. Uh, unless the management do menu, you link to the yeah. menu. Ah, so means that you can create your food order. You can link to the menu to get the information. You can du- duplicate the information in your order order table. No problem. Just that if let's say you want to list down all the menu in the shop, not from you because your yours is order only. But if you want to list all the the menu from the restaurant, for example, then that one is the management report because the management know all the menu. Yours is order order is specific, not all the the all the menu. But if you want to display all the menu in the restaurant, uh, then the management will do that, display all the menu, not your side. Uh, so look at what are the operations that you are going to have. Okay, yours is related to model. So you think of order. Of course, you when you want to order, you have order food, drink, whatever. So order, but you link to the menu before the customer can make order. You have to check whether available or not in the menu. So you take from the menu, but you can have similar variable here lah. If you want to make it different, can you just put food order ID, food order drink, whatever lah, something like food order means order. Or order ID, order drink, order food is up to you lah. But this one is menu ID, menu uh, drink, menu food, whatever. So if you want to show the difference, but it's actually maybe the type will be the same because you are actually using the same thing here. Just that maybe your variable here because in your database you are talking about order only. Uh, your friend is menu only, so menu will have maybe in your uh, in your uh, restaurant you have fifty menus, but order maybe two menu only. So, but it's referring to the menu from the whole thing here. So, this table for the menu, you have 50 records. But maybe I have drink, food, whatever, same thing. But yours, eh? same thing, drink, food, whatever, same. Data type, same. But yours is only consists of from that order. So, maybe you have two or three only. So, different. Different in terms of quantity or, or total here. But refer to this. Your variable can be similar, but normally for me, I will suggest use different uh, later because you want to link a uh, confused same variable. Uh, you you are referring to which one? So make it simi- a different little bit here and there lah. Uh, but type there, maybe food or drink. Type can be the same because that's why we you are referring to the same type. So, uh, so your 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 table here. Let's say you have five. Normally, if here five or so, you should have same five or more. Maybe you want to put quantity here. Here quantity different. This quantity, after you order here, must deduct here. Means that let's say you have one hundred quantity for let's say for food. Here you, you already order two. The total now become ninety eight for example. So see what, what how many uh, you have to to talk together like these two database together. Okay, so that is so here. This is the one that I told you just now. Not important in the assignment. You. Copy this, put inside another document so that you don't confuse. After data abstraction, that's why data abstraction is you don't put. Uh-huh. So it means that you group all together data abstraction together as a one big title. Uh-huh. So when you put here, under here, uh-huh. okay, you put all together here. Then from the after that is your state space and initial state and operation. So from that you can see. So you can share all these things together among your team. So no need for you to do one by one for that. Then confusing whether I can use this 
or not. So when you put as global, everybody can use it. Mm. Easier lah. Okay. <laughs> Any question? So means for the user account just now you mentioned, so I just put it here mm. and the top end only. Mm. No need to set the pre-ID cap. If you want to just now you have count how many per 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 day whatever, then you put here lah. Mm. Uh, how many you want per day? One hundred customer per day. How how many lah? Fifty mm. customer per day. It's up to you lah. Mm. You 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 your your assumption of your system lah. <laughs> so you put here. Okay. So um. Whatever that constant, you put here. Normally, how you rearrange under here, you put all list of basic type first, all basic type. You type the title basic type, all the basic type from five of you, list down there. Then after that, all free type, you put title free type, all free type together. Means, whatever lah, you, you do approve this, of all this, put together. Then the third one is axiomatic definition. Then all axiomatic definition. So you list down like that. So let's say global right, uh, global con you put global constant or global variable lah. Then you put lah free global type, global free constant lah. So free type, basic type, eh, sorry, basic type, free type, and axiomatic definition. So easier. Then after this, then your state space lah, all your state space together. So from that easier. When you refer, oh my friend use order ID, I want to link to the order ID, so I can use similar type lah, order ID, order ID, because I want to link to your to my friend. Make sure that you use the same type, same basic type. Okay, then if this one use ID, use ID, ID, order ID, two different things already. ID means ID, order ID means order ID, two different things. Even though you say it's the same thing in database, but in our schema, because you declared one is ID, one is order ID, we are thinking like one is integer, one is double. Two different things. Okay, so different. Lah. So if you want to use the same thing, make sure that it's order ID, here also order ID. So then it's the same. Okay. So Miss, is it okay we make a table then separate lah? Like five module ma. So for, for what one? For which one? For the global constant. No need, no need. Combine, no need, no need. No need, no need. Everybody can use. Just put everything. It's global. Hmm. Global means everybody can use. No need to use table, table. This one belongs to this uh, module. No need, no need, no need. Just put one whole shop. Combine. Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. For my Kazong service module, I have one part where I want to make a uh, customer service chat with the customer. Where is it? This is something that I love to see. Uh, which one? Which one? Mm, okay, customer service. Ah. Uh, okay, when you want to send chat, ah, do you need the customer info or not? Yes. Okay, that is your precondition. Well, you what do I need? But I don't really save the customer info into another separate place or modify any no, no, info. Means that How you, do I? Okay, when you want to send chat here, the person. Okay, uh, send chat is as a guest or just, just as customer. You have to think about that. Okay, if it is customer want to send something, say something, then you need the customer ID. No, 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 no. Uh, so means you have to link to your friend. That's all. Yeah. But how do I register here? And what do I do with the customer ID? You have to input, then you check with whether it exists in your database or not for the customer. Or maybe, uh, what? Yeah, customer ID like right? user ID lah, like, user, user ID. So I have to have Check a user link. ID, customer info. Ah yes. But I have to retrieve it from the login session of the app. Uh, not uh, maybe maybe you just because sometimes the input is Automated. even though even though it's actually read from the database or whatever. But yeah. in your before you can start here, you need that data right. So we call that as input to your system. Then you have to put question mark. Means that similar like you enter lah, but it's actually you can read from the database, no problem. So you check this from his database, whether it exists or not. Okay. Then if it exists, then you can proceed lah. Okay. Update whatever that you want to get. So, so you need to think of what are actually other things that you want to check before you can proceed with your project. This is your precondition. 
Okay. So let's say uh, you want to add order. So if you want to add order, even though you did auto generate the order ID, right? But before you can add order, that order ID must be created, right? So in order for you to proceed that order ID, when you want to create, must not exist yet in the system. Uh, so even though in our like coding, uh, it's auto generate, right? But mm. must not exist yet. So that's why when we do checking, order ID must not exist yet in our system. But then you create it lah. Uh, so something like that. Even though you don't type, okay, your other ID, okay, uh, no. It's auto generate, but we have to make sure that that ID does not exist yet before you, we can proceed with add order whatever. Okay. Mm -hmm. So something like this. Uh, when you want to send something, whatever, do you need something to check? If no need, then okay. But if needed, what are the information that you need to check? Mm -hmm. Ah, so, can send, ah, so can you, you, this one, ah, this one is what what you have. That's why before you can do the operation, normally ah, when we discuss, ah, I ask any precondition or not. So you have to think, got precondition, not need to check. Ah, ah. so these are actually something like logic already, lah. Okay, logic that you have to think. That's why formal method is logic. You have to think like, it's it's not programming, but you have to think like, how are you going to proceed if people write the coding later? So you have to think broad. Ah. Uh, what will be the thing that you need to check before you can proceed? Mm -hmm. So about this message, can I just use send because I'm not sure if a set. I because my plan is to like have a collection of chat messages. Mm -hmm. If customer send a chat message, it will be included. Ah. We don't have string, ah. Type, ah. So. Basic type, ah. Okay, basic type. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking about this line. This is the concept, correct? Okay. What is your state space for the customer service? Follow your state space. What is it? Uh, Nothing? Where do you want to store it in your database? Yeah, every time a chat is created, we then we create a chat session. Then we only create a session. Ah, then must have state space to create that. Because every time, uh, even though it's not totally like insert the data, but you must have some database to store the information. Okay, because if let's say the management want to check, uh, if you after session remove one, then nothing to check already. So I have to have a collection of chat sessions. Uh, your database uh, to save it. Uh. Okay, so database will save each chat box or chat sessions. Like like this one. Uh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this one, right? This is customer service, right? Yeah. So, there's nothing related to check here. Check details only. Yeah. But this check detail belongs to who? Eh? Belongs to uh, the customer service module. Yeah. But do you know who is the customer for this check details? Eh? Which order? Eh? This is the power set of check details. So, it has a lot of check details. But a lot of chat sessions. Uh, you cannot, session can you, be a so you one. don't know who is the chat customer lah. Just a whole list of chat details. Then, uh, no, let's say, we, we, yes, we, we know, we know. How do you know? We will collect the customer ID. Where? Uh, how do I write it here when this is the customer module, not the chat huh? detail one? We need to Look, this is where your relationship is important. This is the Cartesian product. Remember, I told you, uh, the domain is something that link with it. Let's say you have the, the what chat details, uh, but this chat detail like explain uh, chat, 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 whatever lah. But I want you can say this chat is from this client, uh, this chat is from this client. But how do I know this client? Uh? I think uh, it's just chat detail. So in order for you to tell the client, you have to link to the client means that client to the chat details. Maybe this client will have many chats. Okay, clients can have many chats, doesn't matter. But this chat details belongs to the client. So you link to that. So from here you can see who is the client that talking about this. Maybe the client say complain. Chat, yeah? complain, yeah? chat from, can be complain also. Okay, so how do you separate chat and complain? Are you going to have separate information? Yes. How to know, but you are in the chat now, we made a different one for complaint. Uh, means that, but but is it same chat? No. So means different platform lah. Uh, chat chat complain complain. Yes. 
like that. Yeah. So if real life system, not check lah, not the simple check lah. Means complaint you have to go to. To fill up another form with the details and everything uh, and then okay. So check here is for what? Check here is for. Maybe the order is taking quite some time. You want you need some update or if you want to modify order after you created okay. something. Like so that. how do you know this is a client? This is a customer. Link to the customer database. How? No. Oh, pre from here. Check first. Schema. No, no. From here, from your state spaces now. Is there anything that related to your client or not? To the customer or not? No. Go go to your state spaces now. Okay. My question here. Yeah. Anything related to your customer or not? Uh, no. So how to know? Is it possible to schema inclusion? Schema inclusion. Can we make another chat details? Uh? Chat. Can we make another chat details schema with client okay. ID, date, and customer ID, okay. and then a so now collection my my details. question is okay. Yeah. Okay, uh? You want to have chat details, right? Yes. You want to know who is the client, right? Yes. Okay. Why not you just have here customer product to the client or what customer ID or order ID, order ID lah. Uh. Your order will know lah. From your order, you know who is the client. Then from that order ID, you know oh this chat is belong to this order. Then you know this order late. Then you check what is the status of the order. So from this order, but check details related to the order ID. This order ID you can check the status of the order. Then you can pop lah whatever the day here doesn't matter. But it's related to this order ID. So when I ask you, uh, this chat uh, is actually for whose customer from the order ID you can link to the customer oh this customer name because from this order ID you link to the customer you can get the customer information name email address handphone number but from this order ID this chat details I know the order ID from order ID I can get the customer information okay so that's why here hmm. when you say chat detail it's a list of chat hmm. details I cannot I don't know from this chat is from which order because I don't have a link. Oh, it's okay. just a list of in table one column of table all chat details, but I don't have the information yeah. which is the yeah. order. So, so when you do yeah. link, Cartesian product. Remember, I teach you okay. Cartesian product. That is okay, where you that. link. Uh, okay, no, no, the X. Yeah. Mm. That is where you link. Chat detail mm. X order ID. So you you put lah domain range. That one is up to you lah. But when you do the Cartesian product, you are linking two things together. So if this link to order ID, then I know oh, this, this chat detail is for this order. We are talking about this order. Then you can check through the order. You know who is the customer now. You can see, oh, this is the, you can see this is the location, whatever lah. And then you can also know what is the order status now. What are the orders of this person, from this person. Then you can see a lot of things. But if you have check details, I don't know what order. It's like, okay, so you ask me to check with me, but may I know your name, may I know your order. There's no link in my table, my table to check your order ID, to check your name. I can get your information, but are you the one who actually order this one? No link. Are you the one who are actually sending something or whatever? So I cannot, I cannot check for you. Mm. So this is where your Cartesian product is important. So it will be... Same thing for complaint and also yeah, Whatever that you do now, this is where I teach you Cartesian product This is where you need to think of linking the table already Linking the table together So I'll just make a chart ID, X, order ID, something like that In the Google Classroom, I showed you a few sample reference right? Have you seen that one? Starting from beginning, we do normally one Then you see below, I teach you how to do Cartesian product already You refer that? Library one. Not the library. Library very, very, uh, very a little bit harder. The normal, normal, uh, uh, from the the Google Classroom, the one I give you, reference, reference that one. Before that, <laughs> before later. Okay. 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 We got class. Oh, okay.